चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करने के लिए यहाँ क्लिक करें और बेल आइकन को दबाइए लेटेस्ट अपडेट के लिए वेलकम टू फार्म टेक The global pharmaceutical market is worth over 960 billion US dollars and is treating millions of patients globally every day. Ensuring that the right medicines are available at the right time is the key priority of pharmaceutical companies who also have to deal with various challenges. These range from changing global scenarios, speed to market challenges, rapid new product launches, and ever increasing customer expectations to dealing with greater complexity and meeting the expectations of drug regulatory agencies of the countries where these medicines are supplied Dr Reddy's Laboratories is one of the 10 largest generic companies operating in the world we strive not only to provide affordable and innovative medicines but also target unmet needs of the patient we ensure all time on the shelf availability while delighting our customers we manufacture drug products in various dosage forms oral solid dosage liquids injectables ointments and creams which are then supplied to patients through physicians prescriptions or otc over the counter formats in us europe russia india and various other markets We have 11 formulations facilities worldwide which produce 34 million tablets every day. This is just one figure that demonstrates our commitment to serve the world's billions and doing what is right every single time as per CGMP and regulatory requirement. Achieving our goals necessitates that we strive for commercial excellence through superior operations. Hence There is a need to strengthen our capabilities and transform our organization on the lines of a model factory. In other words, a planner's utopian vision of a pharma plant. The process begins at the planning stage, which is led by the supply chain management or the SCM team. The production and material planning synchronizes the demand of individual stock keeping units or SKUs from respective markets. The planning team prioritizes supply chain and manufacturing activities which goes as the input for our scheduling software which then ensures the required material availability and provides constraint based detailed shift wise scheduling for each manufacturing line. Finally the team tightly integrates API and other suppliers with our processes demands and requirements to ensure smooth operations the material procured is transported by the suppliers to our factories tamper proofing is ensured right from the first stage where the material is unloaded and kept in quarantine area in the warehouse Automated sampling systems transfer samples to the quality control lab for parameter checks. Automated storage and retrieval system or ASRS is deployed in the warehouse operating through an inventory of stored items. NIR or near infrared systems at the material receipt stage ensure identification of materials as a part of quality check. Manual controls and checks are replaced with automated verifications and calculations through scanners. Based on the daily plan, a line technician sends request for material dispensing in advance as per the bill of materials or BOM mentioned in the batch processing record or BPR and ensures that the next dispensed batch is available before completion of existing batch. All documentation at every stage is done through online system which ensures minimal paper usage. The material is then moved to the manufacturing area. 
There are more than 5,000 full-time employees working in our state-of-the-art facilities which work around the clock. Personal safety is given utmost priority and every employee is provided with personal protective equipment and is made aware of behavioral and job safety through various programs. Multiple safety systems to enable a safe workplace are also in place like job safety analysis, lockout, tagout or loto, work permit system and safety observations. All team members at the shop floor of each work team including cross-functional team or CFT members of the work area attend a 10-minute meeting to discuss the performance of the previous shift and the priorities of the current one. The team propels continuous improvement in process controls and product design through these meetings. This is extremely important as their work is co-dependent with other members of the team. At Dr. Reddy's, teams form the foundation on which shop floor operations run. Modern engineering process design principles along with new measurement and control technologies govern manufacturing. Each operation is done through a closed material handling system with restricted personal entry. Even the material movement is carefully monitored in order to avoid cross-contamination and batch mix-ups. Manual labor at every stage is minimal and is ensured through mobile material transfer and movement systems. Before processing any batch, the area is completely cleaned. At the first stage, which is granulation, the material is sifted, milled and blended based on defined processes for a product. The technician maintains records of the entire process in the batch processing record or BPR. This document forms the basis for clearing regulatory and customer audits, apart from ensuring that the process is run as per specifications. All documentation is done through tablets given to employees, thereby ensuring a paperless environment. Rigorous documentation ensures traceability at every stage. While the batch is in the granulation stage, employees in charge of the next stage, that is compression, prepare the area for the upcoming batch by performing a changeover. Our changeover times are better than industry benchmarks. Post granulation, the granules are transported to compression area through a closed transfer system. There, they are compressed into tablets through instrumented tablet process on high-speed automated compression machines as per the specifications. The technician performs quality checks as per the BPR like weight, thickness, etc. Some samples are sent to quality control where the prescribed chemical analysis is performed to check adherence to product specifications. While the manufacturing process goes on, the engineering team works in the background to ensure that the plant runs smoothly without any stoppages. This team ensures controlled environment conditions through HVAC system to meet product and people requirements. They also perform regular preventive maintenance on the machines to keep the equipment healthy. While the engineering team works on preventive and major breakdowns, the production team is self-sufficient to handle daily and routine machine maintenance. They achieve this through area ownership, where one person is responsible for all machines and their maintenance in his area, apart from planning, executing and controlling the operations of those machines. To support these area owners, the plant is technology driven with e-documents for them to verify the processes and procedures and thereby avoid errors. Plant has studied all critical equipment through failure mode effect analysis. FMEA is done to identify potential failure modes of the equipment, to devise preventive maintenance checkpoints and frequency and also list out all critical spares. The team also maintains and installs machine interlocks to prevent person injury or machine damage. In addition to the internal team, original equipment manufacturers or OEMs extend support towards maintaining the equipment. 
thereby going beyond just being suppliers of machines. Coming back to our product, it is now entering the coating stage, which is the last stage in the manufacturing process. All coating machines are being operated with recipe-based program logic controls to ensure no variation of weight gain in tablets. At each stage, the eBPR is updated. As you can see, the entire process utilizes isolators to provide an isolation of a process or the maintenance of an internal condition and thereby provide personnel, product and environmental protection. Additionally, a predefined cleaning procedure ensures that there is no material contamination. Before the packing begins, the technician ensures that the line clearance is obtained and the packing materials for the batch are in place. The materials and lines are different for different forms of packaging, which are blister, bottle, sachet and pouch. However, Efficiency in operations is brought in through standardized process and homogeneous labeling procedures. During the packaging process on high-speed packing and cartonator lines, automated cameras and other devices are constantly at work to identify broken tablets, empty blisters and empty cartons. The tablets during the process are cross-checked for deviations. We use 2D barcoding and holograms in our packing materials among other measures to prevent counterfeiting of our products. The production team performs a final check to ensure that there are no pack stock failures, hence no reworks and therefore write first time and write all the time. Quality control or QC analyzes the product samples and report to quality assurance for certification and release of the product. QC is responsible for rigorous testing of raw materials, packing materials, in-process products, as well as the final products as per defined procedures. It extensively utilizes the Laboratory Information Management System, LIMS, LIMS, whose key features include workflow and data tracking support, data mining and analysis, and smart data exchange interfaces, which fully support its use in regulated environments. We are able to complete microbiology testing in record time of 30 hours by employing rapid micro methods. We also employ the ultra-performance liquid chromatography to save testing time by at least 30%. Subsequently, the product is bundled through the pick and play shaft of the automated conveyor system to the warehouse, where it is stored before being shipped out to the market by sea or air. To understand the complexity of any pharma operations, one needs to witness the plant where at any given point Dozens of products of various forms are being manufactured like oral solid dosages, injectables and ointments. Each and every area can manufacture only a particular batch of a product at a time. Unlike in other industries, here smaller batch sizes and shorter production runs only add to the complexities. Additionally, each area undergoes a rigorous changeover process to ensure that no residue from the previous product is left to the area before taking up a new product. The fact that every product has different process specification and material requirements explains the need for efficient planning and strict process controls. Without these at each stage, managing this complexity would have been a mammoth task in itself. Managing such complex operations depends heavily on the capability of our shop floor employees. To develop these capabilities, employees undergo a skill-based progression system to make them multi-skilled in different unit operations in their respective area. They undergo necessary safety, quality and technical trainings to equip them with the required know-how for error-free operations and achieve first-time right. We also promote true empowerment of our shop floor employees. 
the employees participate in open houses to understand the big picture and also get a chance to voice their concerns which are discussed and resolved by the plant management team. The self-managed team way of work builds team spirit while empowering employees to own their areas and activities. The empowerment at individual level also extends through star caps or team members who are given an opportunity to take up additional responsibilities either in safety, quality, engineering or delivery for their teams for a specific periods. This initiative has helped in reducing hierarchies and ensuring ownership at the lowest level in the organization. Empowerment and the team way of work have helped us maintain high overall equipment effectiveness or OEE levels across processes. To guide employees in delivering superior performance, work team scorecards and work team boards have been installed in every area. The shop flow operations are supported by vigorous review mechanisms which include daily shift team meetings, production planning meetings and monthly review meetings in order to make our operations sustainable. We employ a building management system BMS which is a computer-based control system installed in our buildings that controls and monitors the building's mechanical and electrical equipment such as ventilation, lighting, power systems, fire systems and security systems. Our commitment to sustainability guides us in ensuring world-class operations not only internally but also in other areas of the plant. We have adequate waste disposal systems along with other initiatives like rainwater harvesting. Most of our campuses are also green certified. All these initiatives are monitored through our environment management system. The final products accumulated at our global distribution center are transported to the markets on a first-in first-out basis and finally to our end customer, the patient in need. We ensure that medicines reach patients all across the globe on time and as per the specifications of each destination country. This is a highly challenging task because shipping across borders involves navigating through a complex network of regulatory bodies. We take care of these while ensuring utmost priority to preserving product quality and compliance to regulatory norms during international transit and thereby make lives healthier. Because Good health can't wait.